Precambrian period literally means before the Cambrian period. This archaic, but still widely used term originally referred to the period of Earth's history preceding the development of the oldest rocks containing recognized fossils. However, geologists have discovered certain difficult-to-find fossils in some Precambrian strata in recent decades, therefore this period is now known as the Obscure Life or Cryptozoic Eon. The Precambrian period accounts for over 90% of Earth's history. The Hadean, Proterozoic and Archaean eras are the three periods that make up the Precambrian period. The Precambrian era spans the period of geologic time preceding 600 million years ago. The Precambrian period was first characterized as the period preceding the development of life in the Cambrian period. However, it is now known that life on Earth began in the early Archaean and that fossilized species grew in abundance during the Precambrian period. Hadean or the Hades-like era was about 4.6 billion years ago. The planet was formed from dust and gas orbiting the Sun. During this time, the Earth's surface resembled famous depictions of hell, oceans of liquid rock, boiling sulfur, and impact craters galore. Volcanoes erupt all over the place, while space debris and asteroids continue to fall down. It's difficult to take a step without falling into a lava pit or being struck by a meteor. The air is dense, sultry, and loaded with dust and grime. However, you can't breathe it because it's made entirely of carbon dioxide and water vapor, with traces of nitrogen and odorous sulfur compounds. Some believe that an asteroid the size of Mars collided with the Earth during the start of the Hadean era, utterly smashing and melting it and forming the Earth's only natural satellite moon as a result of the process. Archaean era is also known as ancient or primitive era. This age begins almost a billion years after the Earth's origin, and things have changed dramatically. Everything has mostly cooled down. The majority of the water vapor in the atmosphere has cooled and condensed, becoming a global ocean. The majority of the carbon dioxide has been chemically converted to limestone and buried at the ocean's bottom. The sky is now filled with typical clouds and rain, and the air is largely nitrogen. To construct the ocean floor, the lava is mostly cooled. As evidenced by the numerous erupting volcanoes, the Earth's interior remains hot and active. The volcanoes form lengthy chains of little islands. The sole terrestrial surface is the islands. The continents have yet to develop. The movement of rock deep within the Earth's interior carries the islands across the surface. The era of the Proterozoic which literally translates to early life was about 700 million years ago, towards the end of geologic history's longest epoch. It started 2 billion years after the world was formed and lasted another 2 billion years. So, what has transpired since then? There is still a lot of land to view. In fact, in this era, we can see two supercontinents, one visible on this side of the equator and the other on the other side. During the Archaean Ages and even most of the Proterozoic Ages, collisions of the many, many islands created by volcanoes built these massive land formations. In fact, geologists use the age of the oldest continental rocks that haven't been warmed or chemically altered to determine the start of the Proterozoic era. Life is only found in the water, roughly around 1.7 billion years ago, as animals which were single-celled with a true nucleus. If you enjoyed the video make sure to like and share. Subscribe for more daily content like this.